powerful word for each and every one of you and it started actually when I was in my local church on a Sunday and there was a worship song that was playing and it was talking about letting the fire come down letting the fire come down and during that worship I really connected with God and I started to smell smoke and then a few seconds after I was in a what seemed like a a different place but it was the same place and the church was on fire the church was on fire and there was smoke filling the sanctuary and I had to help people out of the fire I saw myself dragging people out of the fire outside the church to get them help so God could save them it's quite a scary thought that because in many many churches there are people who, who attend the church on a regular basis and they have a form of godliness but they're not truly born again. I was thinking about that. I knew it was a spiritual vision I was getting from God as I plugged into the spiritual realm that people, even in churches throughout the world, needed Jesus to save them. And the fire was getting closer and closer and it takes somebody everybody who's a born-again christian a true born-again christian to help people out of the fire out of the fire of hell and point them to jesus point them to jesus's feet where he can save them because only he can save them nobody else can save them I can't save anybody we all need Jesus and I prayed this morning about for more revelation on this particular subject and it's really been uh, heavy on my heart having to drag people out of the fire before it's too late and I got a scripture this morning after prayer and it's from Malachi chapter 4 verse starting in verse 1 and it says for behold the day of the Lord is coming burning like an oven when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble the day that is coming shall set them ablaze says the Lord of hosts so that it will leave them neither root nor branch that is so powerful you know time is ticking on life is getting shorter the Lord Jesus Christ is going to return very soon and we might not have time to pull people out of the fire of hell we might not have that time as Jesus is returning as he's descending on the cloud of glory we may not have that time we've got to do it now it's our responsibility as Christians our responsibility of believers to pull those out of the fire to share with them what God is sharing with you to share God's holy word because his word is sharper than a double-edged sword and it cuts through to the joints and the marrow the soul and the spirit and you know this this hope in this scripture as well because if I continue reading verse 2 it says but for you who fear my name the Son of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings you shall go out leaping like calves from the stall and you shall tread down the wicked for they will be ashes under your so under the soles of your feet on the day when I act says the Lord of hosts for behold verse 1 the day is coming burning like an oven when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will 
be stubble. The day that is coming shall set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that they will so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you, for you who fear the fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing wings. Amen. You shall go out leaping like calves from the store, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under your souls, under the soles of your feet, on the day when I act, says the Lord. So you will be you will have a new spring in your step. You will have that renewed energy. You will have a new life in Christ Jesus. But for the wicked and those who, are, who, you know, who have a form of godliness, but they're not truly saved, they will go to the fire. Their root and their branches will be burnt to ashes and all believers will walk on those ashes and tread them underfoot, says the Lord of hosts. For behold, the day is coming burning like an oven. You see, when Jesus Christ comes back, he's not coming back to say, I love you. He's coming back in judgment. He's coming to judge the earth of all unrighteousness. But for those who are truly born again, they will have their lives renewed in a twinkling of an eye. We'll be giving new supernatural bodies and will receive eternal life. So woe to those who have rejected Christ Jesus. Woe to those who think they can do life on their own without God. Woe to you because the scripture says that the Son of Man, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts will come back and he will be like a burning oven. It will come back in judgment. And when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will be stubble. Will be stubble. It's very scary. It's very frightening. I want to challenge you today. And I want to ask you I want to ask you to check yourselves, to check yourself spiritually. Are you truly born again? Do you trust in the Lord Jesus? Have you fully submitted and surrendered all to Jesus? There's no other way to the Father except through his Son, Jesus Christ. And I plead with you, I plead with you, after that vision I received during that worship song, as I tuned into the supernatural, as I tuned into the spiritual realm of God and the vision he gave me, that there was a fire in the church. Now normally when you say there's a fire in the church, people get excited, but this wasn't the fire. That is an exciting fire. It wasn't the holy anointing fire. It was judgment. Judgment is coming upon the church because there's many people throughout churches all over the world who go to the church week after week. They hear the, the pastor preach the sermon, but yet after they leave the church, they carry on in their ungodly ways. They carry on without Jesus. They're not truly born again. They're not truly born again. Think about that. Ask yourself, ask Jesus, am I truly born again? What do I have to do to be saved? And repent of your sin, the sin of rejecting Christ Jesus and turn back to him, fully surrender and submit all of your being to him because he is the only one who can save. Jesus Christ is the only one that can save. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we hallow your name. Father, I just pray for all the people, Father God, that are forms of godliness, but they don't truly know your Son, Jesus Christ. And if they don't know your Son, they don't know you, Father God. Father, give us an extra time so we can, we can pull people out of the fires of hell and send them to Jesus to be saved. Father, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And do remember the scripture from today, from Malachi chapter 4, all the way through from verse 1 to verse 3. Ponder upon that, think about it, meditate upon it, and check yourselves. And ask yourself the question, am I truly saved? And if not, then repent and turn back to God. Turn back to God while well, there's still time. My name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle, and I'm coming to you from Cloud Church TV, based in Manchester, United Kingdom. And I hope and pray that this video blesses you. And I pray that you will take action and you will take this message seriously because it is for someone like you out there. May not, may not be you, maybe one of your family members, maybe a friend that you know, but check yourself first. Check yourself first while well, you've still got time. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next Cloud Church TV video. Bye for now. God bless you all. Jesus.